What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the Winter Circle, y'all. Today, y'all, I'm out here on this trail. I'm at the Northern Hills Nature Trails in Oklahoma, and it is so beautiful out here, but I had to sit down and take a break because... <laughs> <laughs> listen y'all for this is my first time on this trail for so for a, for a second i thought i was gonna find my way back but i end up finding uh my way back or whatever i was getting scared so it's taking me a little bit longer than normal than what uh what it, what it would normally take for me to um to hike or whatever but i got this message and i was just sitting here thinking and i was like nobody really talks about um the pain that people go through when they're changing the trajectory of their family lineage, when they're healing, when they're becoming the generational curse breaker, when they're becoming the seer, because some of the pain that we end up going through is we t we tend to be isolated because you're you're un you're unearthing, you're undigging what has been root planted and rooted so much into your family. You you start to go against the grain. You start setting boundaries. You start um, looking at people like that's not right. You start holding other people accountable. You're standing in accountability. You're standing in truth. You're standing in um, and honoring what you know to be right. And it, it, it's almost like you you become an enemy of your family because because you are going against the grain. It's like you rocking the boat, and they don't want that. They don't want you to rock the ro the boat. People don't want to put people on blast. People don't want to put family members out there and say what you're doing is wrong and how you've been doing this is wrong and you're manipulative and you're a narcissist and you're this and you're that. So when you start to heal yourself and you start to and you start to take accountability and you start to stand in truth and you start to live your life better than what your family you used to. And, and you start to yield different results than what your family is used to. You start having different belief systems. You stepping out of um, um, the belief systems that you inherited from them and you start doing things your own way. And you start seeing that it's yielding different results for you, different results for your children. Family members don't like that. They want you to keep quiet. They want you to go with the current, go with the flow. They want you to keep on doing the same thing after same thing after same thing after generation after generation after generation. They don't want you to be different. They don't want you to, to set things apart. So it feels like you become an enemy of your family because they all come against you because you're the different one. You're the one that's changing things. You're the one that's stepping out on that truth. And it, and it can make us feel kind of um, kind of isolated, kind of kind of like dang like they really not rocking with me like that like my family really don't rock with me like that they might be you know wishy-washy flaking on you not really rocking with you like that not really answering your phone calls or, or just act just act in a certain way and, and if you know what i'm talking about comment in the comment section y'all because i got the message but my brain is jumbled i am i'm so tired but i feel good like i broke a nice sweat and i feel really good but i'm almost to the car or whatever but i just wanted to get on here and let y'all know like because you stand in the truth, because you stand in accountability, because you stand in honesty, keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Don't let nobody, don't let nobody change you, change your mindset or make you feel bad. Because sometimes we can question ourselves, like, am I doing the right thing? Should I just keep quiet? Should I not, um, should I not set boundaries? Should I not call people out? Should I not, you know, put my foot down when I know people doing me wrong or when I see people doing things in the family wrong? And you should, what you're doing is right because it's painful, but healing is painful. When you heal yourself, not only are you healing yourself, but you're healing your family lineage, you're heal, you healing your entire bloodline and you're making a better way for not only you, but your children, your children's children, your grandchildren, you're making a better way for people and you make it, you're setting the tone, you, you're setting expectations that need to be met instead of just following suit since what they've been and what your family been doing for years and years and decades ago and decades ago and decades ago. So keep going, keep doing what you're doing, keep healing yourself, keep speaking your truth, keep living in your um your personal growth and development, keep calling people out, keep setting boundaries, keep doing whatever it is that you're doing, keep doing it, okay? Keep doing it. And I know sometimes it could be rough, it could be difficult, you could feel isolated, you could feel alone, you could feel like, like dang, like, like you out here solo dolo, but but it's okay. I'd rather be healed and sane and living a good, healthy quality of life than to be or, or around a crowd of fake motherfuckers or people who acting like they for you and they really not. So just keep doing what y'all doing, okay? Um, I love you and I hope you guys are having a happy Sunday. I'll talk to you soon.